everyone welcome to my channel if this is the first time you've been to the channel please go ahead and subscribe that helped the channel tremendously okay if you're sitting there you're watching multiple videos of mine you don't subscribe it doesn't help me out it could, so you gotta help me out if you enjoy what you're watching that's why you watch the video don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time give me a favor go ahead and click on the sub subscribe button that help me out having said that let me give you an update this is what i'm doing here this is, uh, I'm in my garage, so I've been running on solo. I've been going off grid since last year. This is an update. I'm going to tell you how this thing works out. Okay? Now, what you have here is Max Sky Blue that I've been using. This only limited. It does the job. It does. Okay? This is Max Sky MPP Solo. Okay? This is what it is, guys. That's the name of it. It works. I have multiple one of them. Something they die because the wire there. What I find out is not the wire is the is the user. Whoever is using it, don't put, don't place it well. You're gonna have that problem. See, I had that problem there. I remove it. Since then, I haven't I haven't have any problem at all. We gotta tight those things pretty tight. Make sure they don't they don't get loose. Then your your mix cable is gonna be fine. If you don't fix this, you're gonna have an issue. Now what we have here. It does works, okay? This is lithium iron, lithium iron battery. That's 18650. This is for my e-bike. This is the first time you've been to my channel. Yeah, they, I have a lot of e-bike battery that I have purchased from Battery Hookup on the auction, and I have them into play right now, okay? I have them into play, and I have some of them at home, back home from Haiti. In Haiti okay so this battery this is 10 gauge wire that I use I use 10 gauge wire oh those wire guys they are uh, 8 gauge wire I have those coming from the solar and that uh, the green one going to the batteries that's what I had so I couldn't put red and black all that stuff guys but I understand which what kind of wire they are okay so this, this is a lithium iron battery, what I have there, um, it's about 14 pack, that's 14S, I used to have a BMS on it guys, so the reason I removed the BMS is because I need it back home, because I can't find a BMS yet for that, okay, so I move it back home, this, yeah. okay, so I made this battery from, uh, I made the battery from, from batteryhookup.com, I purchased a bunch of e-bike battery, they are e-bike. I didn't test them though. I did not test none of those batteries. Okay. I just charged them. I'm hoping for the best. While I was charging the battery, one of the pack was dead. You see, when I put it into play, I discharged the battery. And then, then I found out the battery was dead. And when I was trying to recharge it, it used to take charge. When I check, I tried to, uh, I mean, I had some, some, some heat, heat meter. You tell me how much heat this thing has. When I found out the, this pack, was having issues I had to replace the pack completely okay I have a video on this too guys okay there go check out the video maybe I should put the link on that video there I'm gonna try to put all the links and everything's in here okay they show you how I build the pack 10 gauge wire this guys okay you see this nuts and this connector to this wire it's technically a fuse this part guys is it works like a fuse if i try to push 60 m out of this pack of battery this will melt it will break if i try to push 60 amps out of this pack take out 60 amps out of this pack this thing will blow it happened to me in haiti okay i didn't do a video on that because i couldn't figure out what was the problem when i found out what the problem is and it was too late to make a video okay those nuts is another fuse that's why my breaker is 100 amp. Now I'm going to change the breaker to 50 amps because you don't want to have a problem like that here. I never take, but I never plan to take out 50 amps out of this pack. Never plan to do that. That's why I always have two of them hooked up. Okay, guys. Now this is a breaker. It's broken. It's an update on my system, guys. I got to tell you everything. This breaker is broken. It's not working. Okay. Why I have positive and uh, negative positive, I, I let out the wire, this is temporary, okay? Why I have this mess is temporary, guys, those things are going to be removed completely. 
I'm testing. I'm, st I'm still in a test mode while I'm using the power to the house. This inverter, that's power jack inverter. Okay, this one sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This thing, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I was surprised the other day I saw it working. Okay, so this inverter, it, it's they claim this is power jack inverter. You got input, got input 110 volt, can charge a battery. That's what it says. Never try it. Don't plan to try it. I have no intention of trying anything like that here. Okay. And I have no connection in the garage to come out from the grid itself. There's, I, I severed the, that connection. Connection. So hopefully I'll always have batteries here so I can run the garage off, 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 off the solar. Is it good? This thing is so noisy. This thing's supposed to be not, uh, about a thousand dollars. The guy who sold it to me was on eBay and I offered him $600. He said, okay. I was so shocked. I wonder what was the problem. And then I realized what was the problem. He didn't want nothing to do with it. This thing makes a lot of noise, very noisy. It takes a lot of just from the battery. It does. <laughs> if your battery is dead with this guy here, your battery is dead. This thing will still, the fan will be on. It will still sucking so juice out of the battery, even though it's not producing power. Yes, it does. The fan never stops. Okay. Okay, this thing gonna die by itself. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's, if you don't touch it, it's gonna go off, which is good. Other than that, the inverter wastes a lot of energy, a lot. And I was, I never push it to the 9,000 watt. They claim it has 9,000 watt. Yeah, I paid 600 bucks for this thing. of six or seven and free shipping included. Shipping was not included. I had to pay for the shipping. I don't know, it's 700 bucks. I know this thing, I'm gonna use it for backup. Okay, I will never use this thing for actually things I want to use. I have another inverter coming in pretty soon. I'll have multiple videos on that inverter because I have it several two two videos like two inverters like this. Now, if you've been to my channel, okay guys, you know this this is empty. The bottom is empty. There is some battery there, I will get to the battery in a few minutes. The bottom here guys is empty. Now what what's it? Let me explain to you what's, what's been happening. Those batteries, I'm gonna have several tests on them. Yeah, and I have several videos on those tests. I think in the last two weeks I spoke, I post two videos on those to tell you how this thing works. Okay, but it takes a lot of space. This thing takes a lot of space, guys. I wanted to be able to I wanted to be able to, to put more batteries in here. Okay, I'm trying to cut the space down because I had a, I have a lot of battery. I had about 14, 13 here. And then I had about 14 there. Okay. So the both sup supposed to be equal to 13,000 watt. Six on the bottom, six and a half on the top. Or I think seven on the bottom, seven and a half on the top. This will give me 14.5 kilowatt. I did a run test on them. I, got, I did a run test on one level. I got five kilowatt. I didn't like that. So I was losing five kilowatt. I, I lost two kilowatt. Don't know how, but the battery was a worse performance. That's why I'm going to test separately on each battery to see how good they work. So far, so good, guys. Okay, so far, so good. What the hell is this? I don't know. So I don't have no. I don't, know. I don't remember that I put this thing like that before. Anyway, guys. So so far, I don't like it. I need to put at least a lot of wattage in here. So if I can put seven kilowatt all the way in here, and I can put, and uh, I can put more in here, more battery you have, but it is. You never run out of battery. That's my my main goal. So. I get rid of them. I'm gonna combine them together, but I'm still gonna ship them overseas. So I don't have a place for them here. Okay, and the wires, I had wires all over the place like this guy. It wasn't pretty. If you guys wanna see that, I'll probably link those videos on this. I will already link the videos. Uh, you can check it out yourself. Interesting, it was interesting guys, but that was, I'm in New York, so this was different. This will not pass the test if somebody come in to, to inspect the property, all that nonsense. So I say, hey, let me get rid of them here. 
until I got a better way to put them. So right now, this is what I have. Okay, they were here too, guys. Now we come to the right bad to the body that I have here. Okay, let me take the cover. Yeah, I have the cover on this. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Now I have a video on this. This is I never tested them before. Okay, I did a good job on this, guys. I make this boss bar. I make this, and I make that. This is this is copper. Pretty nice. I did a pretty good job at this. I did a very good job. This is why I'm gonna change. This is a pretty good copper there. There's two of them combined together, guys. Let me see if you can see this. See, it's two of them combined together. There we go. But I'm gonna change it because that thing is not, it doesn't look like it can produce that much amperage. Each, each, each little thing you see inside of it can produce under the amp. So I double it up. If you double it up, maybe you can produce 200 amp. But I'm gonna change it with a copper bar, copper tubing. I'm gonna change it to a copper tubing. It looks much better. Okay, that's the only reason I'm doing it. So I gotta do everything properly when the new inverter come in. Stay, stay, stay tuned to watch when they, when I got the new inverter. Yeah, I got a big big inverter coming, six kilowatts coming. So this thing been running pretty good, guys. And I haven't tested this. I haven't pushed it to the limit because this is winter. When you destroy the battery, it's gonna take a while to come back. So I'm going off and off, off and on grid. That's what I'm doing right now. Off and on grid because I can't produce enough power, enough solar during the, during the, during the daytime. My panel is full of snow. I'll take it, I'll still show you a quick look at the panel. Okay, it's not doing well in the winter. So I gotta do some modification where I place them. And then see what happened, guys. So that's a new set of body that I have. Pretty nice, neat, sweet. It's very sweet, guy. I haven't tested them to the limit, but I will test them. I will deplete it completely, see how well it will charge. Like my previous video, I deplete all my batteries and see how it works. And I have some breakers. This one is working. I had about four of them. Yeah, this one is dead. I can't unlock it. That's another thing I can't do a test on this. I need to run it by itself. I have to unscrew this completely, guys. This is loose, by the way. Like I said, this is a test mode. This is loose, man. Now this battery, yeah, it's always at 53, man. This is for the whole entire battery, the whole entire, the both pack. Okay, this is on, this is on. Okay, let me go to the, to the Bluetooth to see what's going on, guys. Guys, yeah, this is my MPMP Solo, it's about five o'clock. Let me show you how it looked like in New York at five o'clock on the snow. Let me go ahead and show you the panels, guys. Guys, this is the panels. This is how they look like. In New York in February, mid-February. This is how it looks like, guys. Okay? This is how it looks like. So you're not gonna get no juice out of this. It's five o'clock, so. This is how the panel look like, okay? This is the other set of the panel. This, those panels hasn't produced no power at all since December. Because the sun go up, the sun starting the wrong way. Okay? When you're in the sun, you got issues. And this panel, they don't produce no power in the winter time. I didn't know that until last year I wasn't here. I was in the warm weather. This year I'm here. This is what it looks like, the panels, okay? This one produces some power, but not enough, not enough. So I gotta move them, okay? Okay guys, I'm on number one BMS. Okay, it's number one. Okay, this is what I have here. The body look like they're identical. 3.51. Yeah, they look like identical. They're the same type, but different format. They're the same type. There's a lithium phosphate. This is lithium phosphate, so and a little cell. This is a bigger cell. I got 32 of them here. 
They are parallel. They are there's two in series. That's that's two P sixteen S. Two P sixteen S. Okay, so I have I may have another one back there. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I need to see their performance first. To have another one like this here. And I'm gonna I got a new set of battery coming up. They're gonna be lithium iron fast fit. I'm gonna ship those out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those, but I'm gonna have a new set of battery here. Which is gonna be lithium lithium iron. Okay, and stay tuned guys, you can see what's the progress. You see what I have here? This is the new the new upgrade Li lithium phosphate battery. Can I take both of them? Take a picture guys. That's gonna be on the Let's do this like, like that. Guys, that's the end of this video. I'll see you soon.